one eternity Welcome later. back to the channel treasures. This is Dr. Bisa's corner where I talk about your total well-being. I film on my faith, lifestyle and health. So today we are going to be talking about cancers. Fourth February of every year is usually the World Cancer Day and this year's theme was close the care gap close the care gap the aim of this day is usually to raise awareness about cancer encourage its prevention and also encourage early detection and treatment in order to reduce cancer related disease states and also cancer related deaths so that is just a summary of bringing out a day of the year in order to celebrate cancer just to create awareness about it is detection is prevention is treatment in order to reduce cancer related deaths so today we are going to be talking about cancers i will be giving us a brief overview about cancers why am i bringing this to us usually like 30 years 40 years ago in developing countries the major disease body was from infectious disease that is diseases that we can really see what is happening maybe mosquito bites someone the person gets treated or we know if you are coughing and, and if you have cata and you are coughing we tell you what to do in order to prevent it it was majorly against infectious diseases but now the burden of non-communicable diseases of which cancer is among is now rising by the day and it's estimated that by 2030 it might be the major cause of disease states even in the developing countries or in the third world country like ours so what are cancers cancer is the growth is the uncontrollable growth of abnormal cells abnormal cells and they tend to spread to other parts of the body we have cancers affecting children we have cancers affecting young people and we have cancers affecting older people for cancers affecting children usually aged 0 to 18 years they are majorly leukemias that is cancers of the blood or the bone marrow and one of the important things to know about this cancer is that they are not usually due to they are not strongly related to maybe lifestyles or environmental changes rather they are due to genetic changes also some some infections like epstein-barr virus infection malaria and hiv can also be a risk factor of predisposed children to childhood cancers also some infections some infections when gotten at childhood can also predispose a child to cancers in future or as an adult example a child who is infected with hepatitis b virus hepatitis c virus or human papilloma virus can be at risk of cervical cancer or liver cancers in future so that is why it's also important that children are vaccinated against these viruses also we have cancers that can affect the young adults which is age 20 to 30. Informants are breast cancer are common in this age group. Another age group is now age 40 and above. That's cancers in adults. Here you see all the types of cancer. We have skin cancer, breast cancer, which is common in females. We have lung cancers. We have prostate cancers, which is common in males. We also have the colon and rectal cancers. Usually these cancers right now are, are majorly due to lifestyles that are strongly related to our lifestyle. Maybe the person smokes, is obese, does not exercise, that's inactivity, physical inactivity, and even environment can affect. At times also there could be genetic predisposition to some of these cancers that occur in adulthood. So for cancer to be controlled, early detection is very key. Early detection is very key because if it is detected on time, treatment could commence and there is possibility of achieving cure. If to be detected early, it is important to go for screening. Screening is just like a way of finding out cancer before the signs and symptoms arise. We have so many ways we can screen for breast cancers. We have other screenings for cervical cancer and prostate cancers. At least those are the common ones that are occurring commonly now. So 
the importance of screening it helps to decrease people with the disease because when someone is screened something like in cervical cancer when one is screened and there is change in the in the surface of the neck of the womb treatment can commence immediately and cure can be achieved also it reduces the disease burden because it can be control. Screening will also help to prevent death. Early detection and treatment will always improve the survival rate and there are several components to early detection. One is creating awareness about the signs and symptoms of this of cancers and also educating caregivers, especially cancers in So children. accurate and timely clinical evaluation is important in order to determine the extent of the disease and also to comment treatment. Access to prompt treatment cannot be overemphasized when it comes to cancer management and the possibility of achieving it. There are a lot of psychosocial problems or that has to do with cancer. Maybe being a patient, someone living with cancer or being a caregiver for cancer patients. So it is very important that we avoid discrimination and we stop um, the stigmatization. Let us all try to close the close the care gap by being supportive, creating awareness, making sure that we ourselves get screened and get our loved ones screened. And for those ones which have vaccines, we make sure that our children are vaccinated against them in order to protect if them. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell. Also, if you have any question you would love your doctors to answer, do drop them in the comment section or get reach out to us on our Instagram handle and we'll get back and we'll get right back to you. God bless you and see you next time. Bye.